Okay, I'm just about to head out the door to give you a tour of a luxury home built by Toll Brothers in Lehigh, Utah at Traverse Mountain. This home was just listed for sale, priced at $2 million. This tour is gonna be very detailed. I'll get you up close and personal with the upgrades and features that the builder selected for this house. Look in the description below for all the information on this property. Before we get to it, I'd like to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy, and if you'd like to stay up to date on latest real estate tips and trends, subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell. If you have questions or comments at any time during this video, please leave a message below. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest here in Utah, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to call or text. Okay, so this is the Ashton floor plan with the Mountain Modern Elevation. This home was built as one of the model homes in the Traverse Mountain location, so you know that it's loaded with upgrades. Let's step inside. Okay guys, this is gonna be an in-depth tour. I'm gonna give you close-ups of the flooring, the walls, and everything in between. So let's get going. Okay, so you can see super high ceilings, tons of upgrades, even on the ceiling, cam lights, nice long hallway here. Definitely gives you the feel of richness as you walk in the door. Off to the left here, you can see there's a bathroom straight ahead, but I want to take a quick look at this wall. Give you guys a close up. You can see they've got some can lights up there at the top and down here at the bottom as well. And let's get right in here, give you a close up of that wall. Pretty amazing. I like it. Okay, so this floor plan comes with three bedrooms on the main floor, including the master bedroom. But on this home, they added the office instead. You can see they put a glass partition there. And here's that office that I was talking about that replaces what could be a bedroom. Now, this particular home is for sale as is. So this one has two bedrooms on the main floor plus this office. Once again, you notice a really high ceiling there. And uh, I think I'm gonna step into this back corner here to give you a view from all angles. Kind of cool how the wood there on the wall falls all the way up to the ceiling. Got a nice big TV there. And you can see here, you've got nice big windows. Once again, this is the actual home that's for sale, priced at $2 million. Okay, so let's uh, take a quick, close look at this. You can see there's no partition here. It's just kind of the wood beams there. Okay, let's uh, head down the hall here. You can see across from the office is the laundry room. And this house has a really unique setup because this laundry room actually leads into the master bedroom or the master closet, as you can see here. I think we'll come back around to this. So let's step back outside. Across the hall here is bedroom number two. And look at those views from the front here, pretty crazy. If you look down to the right there, you can see it's covered in snow, but that's a little fire pit area at the front of your house. Kind of a cool gathering place. And what incredible views. Okay, stepping into the very back corner here, you get a peek inside the closet and see how they decorated. And then let's take a look at the bathroom here on the right. And you can see on the shower there, the towel goes all the way to the ceiling and those are tall ceilings. So let's get in here nice and close, give you a look. What do you guys think of that tile work? Pretty awesome. And then they've put double sinks in this bathroom, so that's cool. I 
I like these floors too. Okay, so once again, laundry room to the right. And as I mentioned, that's the closet for the master bedroom. Cruising down the hall here, and we are stepping into the family room. Uh, you can see here kind of a cool chandelier leading in and look at how tall those ceilings are and all the windows, pretty amazing. So you got the master bedroom to the right here. And I think we'll step in there first and then come back and show you guys the kitchen, dining room and living room here in a second. So here's the master bedroom. Once again, you got sky high ceilings. You have a cool chandelier and a very interesting wall there. We'll have to get a close up on that. You can also see a private back patio there. It's kind of cool. But let's get a close up here really quick. Kind of interesting. You can see the bathroom there the sliding barn door and your TV setup. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's not a huge room, but big enough. You guys wanna step outside real quick? You can see a fireplace there to the left, a gas fireplace. It's a super cool feature. It actually, there's a wall here that divides the whole thing, but look at those views. Holy cow, that is amazing. Off your back deck, Incredible views. And then down here below, you can see they've got like an awesome kind of gathering place for friends and family. Fire pit kind of area right there. Once again, that's gas. I actually did a tour of this about two years ago when there wasn't snow on the ground. So I'm gonna put a link to that video at the bottom for those of you that really wanna see the backyard. And let's go check out the bathroom real quick. Okay, so walking across the hall here, or across the bedroom, sorry. You've got the bathroom, you got a separate tub and shower here. Let's uh, open this door really quick. Give you a close up of the tile, the shower head there. I do like that tile. And really a deep tub as well. You got a window, nice big window here. And on the other side, you got some nice chandeliers, huge mirror, and look at that. You even have a TV in the glass. Double sinks, and if you come down here, closer to the floor, get a close up of the tile work there, which leads into the toilet area. And then into the closet. So once again, not a monstrous closet, but big enough, at least for me. <laughs> and then of course, if you go here to the left, it leads you to the laundry room. We're not gonna go back through there though. Let's head back out to the front here. Let's go check out the kitchen, dining, and family room. Okay, stepping out of the master. Once again, you got the entryway to the left here, but look at that ceiling and all those windows is just spectacular. I love this house, love this floor plan. Nice big open area. Once again, this home is great for gathering. Okay, so you've got kind of a mudroom area here with a built-in shelf there and cabinets. Through this door, you have the garage with epoxy floors. It's a two car garage. Once again, they've added tons of windows. Get you a close up of that poxy floor there. All right, well, that was exciting. <laughs> okay, so off to the right here, you have kind of your coat closet. Peek inside super quick. It looks the same as every coat closet I've seen in the last 10 years. Okay, so stepping into the dining room, we're gonna curve over here and look at the kitchen. This 
kitchen is very nicely done. And step back a little bit here, give you a little bit better view. Up here you have a butler's pantry. It's kind of cool, right? It's a good way to use this, this space. All right, let's step inside, flip around, and get you a view of the kitchen. You can see here, glass door. That is probably a good thing, but you have to keep this room clean now. All right, so let's just kind of pan over and show you the dining area and the family room. This is a total party house. <laughs> Perfect for entertaining. I love all the windows, the tile work everywhere. It's amazing. That's a big, nice big island there. And uh, let's get you kind of a close up here of this tile. It's kind of cool. It's almost like a little tile pillar there. And then I love this tile along the back. I want to steal that and put it on my house. <laughs> okay, so let's get a view of the kitchen from this side. Once again, you see the butler pantry straight ahead. Nice big island, dining room, and family room. I want to know your guys' opinion of this house. Is this area too small? I love the fireplace. It's a nice gas fireplace. Can you guys a close up there? There's been a lot of details, fine details added to this house that really make it pop. Okay. So look at that entire wall there. Just windows, right? So those two doors spread way apart. So in the spring or summer when it's a nice day out, you can just open these two doors right here, the one to the left, the other to the right, and it just opens this thing way up. Okay, so you can see that once again, the fireplace off to the right there, that separates the master bedroom deck from kind of this party deck here that you see here. And then once again, you can look down here and you can see incredible views from this deck and down below they've spent a lot of money and taken a lot of time to make some really cool uh, things down here great place to hang out have barbecues and things like that so all right let's head back inside and uh, continue the tour you know actually while we're out here I'm gonna open this door up a little bit to give you guys a little bit better view so I can step back and kind of show you the kitchen and dining area. What do you guys think? What do you love about this house? And what would you change? Or are there things that you don't really like? I wanna hear your opinions. And once again, if you're interested in this property, please feel free to reach out to me. All right, so let's head down the hall and I think, well, Oh my gosh, I just, I love that front door. Look at that thing. That is an amazing front door. And uh, once again, that's your office right there. I think that was kind of a cool way to separate the two rooms as well. What do you guys think? Would you want it to be more private or do you like that? Okay, so you're gonna love the basement. I'm really excited to show you this. If you look straight ahead, you can see there's actually a walkout door. So, uh, there's actually two walkout doors in this basement, but so someone has a separate entrance there, which is kind of cool. This room right here in front of me, not too exciting. It's just a storage room. Looks like someone had a pillow fight in here or something. <laughs> but yeah, there's no windows here, so this can't be a bedroom. But you know, you could use it as a fitness room or something like that, right? That being said, if you look across the way here, you can see an amazing fitness room. They've put the glass partition there instead of a normal wall. And you've got this really cool kind of hangout family area down here. I don't know if I personally would have done it this way, but 
Uh, I really, really like what they've done. Okay, so let's step into this exercise or fitness room first. It's kind of hard to see that glass wall there, but it looks amazing. You see you've got a couple bikes here, uh, rowing machine, you've got some weights and candles and whatever else there. And then this room has its own separate entrance or exit, whatever, to the outside, to the backyard. And, uh, you know, we'll go out there in just a minute. But, you know, it might be kind of cool to open that up in the summer or the spring and let the fresh air come in while you're riding your bikes, right? Hopefully you can see it a little bit better, the glass, kind of that glass partition here, a lot of reflection uh, makes it a little bit hard to see on camera, but it, it's, uh, it's amazing. Give you a view of everything from here. And then we'll come back and look outside in just a minute. Once again, kind of looking at this hangout area. Love to hear your thoughts on this little space here as well. What do you think? Do you like this or would have you done something different, maybe more open or, or more of a hangout type area? All right, let's cruise down the hall here. They've done taller ceilings down here in the basement. And uh, yeah, that's better. Let's turn on the lights. <laughs> okay, now let's look at this uh, hallway. I know I probably didn't need to show it twice. It's not that exciting. But if you look off to the left here, you've got another bathroom. It's a nice big bathroom. Step inside, take a quick look at the tile on the floor and the walls. Plays tricks on your eyes, doesn't it? I, I really do like what they've selected for this house. And here is just gonna be your furnace, water heater, and things of that nature. And some cool 3D art. See, it actually kind of pops out there. Let's go for a little ride down the train tracks. Do you guys wanna go for a ride? Let's go. Okay, that's kind of weird. All right. <laughs> Okay, so right here, you just have like a linen closet, kind of a cool wood picture there. And I think you guys are gonna really like this bedroom, even if you don't like the jazz. <laughs> I like the Phoenix Suns, but this bedroom's done awesome. So I do like the sports theme to it. And uh, there's a big surprise here in a moment. And I can't wait to show you, but this room has a huge closet. So uh, some kids getting spoiled. Okay, so if you pan this way, you notice the room is kind of partitioned into two separate areas. You have the sleeping area, and then of course you have a kind of the game area or the TV area over there. Step in this corner super quick and give you a view from this angle. And then let's go ahead and step over into this other section. That is one fancy goat on the wall. Look at him in his little suit. Anyway. Panning this way, you can see you got the TV right there. Awesome kind of little game area or TV area. But the cool thing is uh, the television is on a swivel so you can actually swing it around and turn it to the bed area if you want. Okay, so let's cruise back into the fitness room and walk out the back door. I'm gonna give you a very quick tour of this backyard. Once again, I toured this home about two years ago and there wasn't any snow on the ground. So I'll put a link to that video below so you can come back and look at this. You're gonna to wanna to do it because the snow is messing up everything for us here. Uh, this backyard is amazing. So you got a long covered porch back here. And then let's just go ahead and step over into this kind of barbecue slash hangout area. What do you guys think? It's pretty amazing. And you get the crazy views. I mean, seriously, look at the views from here. Million dollar views. Or I guess in this situation, $2 million views, right? 
But you can see here, got a little uh, gas fire pit there with some couches and chairs around it. Perfect for those family hangouts. Toll Brothers has several communities right here in Utah, including a new one coming to Saratoga Springs, close to where I live. If you're moving to Utah or you already live here and you have questions about this property, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at any time. I would be honored to serve you. just so you know, I have over 15 years of experience working directly with home builders. And I have personally guided more than 500 people through the home build process. I guess you could say it's my specialty. You know, besides being ridiculously good looking. <laughs> if you're looking Anyways. to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, please feel free to call or text. If there's something that stood out to you as being helpful, or if you have questions, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you know someone who enjoys home tours or anyone looking to buy a home, please share this video with them. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty, the real estate guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.